with the initial project setup. Things have changed quite a bit in Android Studio, and they're really shifting more towards Kotlin. And please feel free to use Kotlin if you want to. It's a totally easy to use program, uh, programming language, but we're using Java in this course, and because it's just like a language that I think is going to serve you outside of Android development a little bit more. Now, a lot of the templates and stuff seem to not work as well anymore with uh, uh, with Java. They seem to be geared towards Kotlin. So what I'm going to do just is quickly go over like how to actually add each of the individual items manually and then the things that you need to configure. So what I've done here is I've created a project. I've made sure my source language is set to Java. And then what I'm doing right now is you can see I'm in project files. I've added here two Java classes, one called main activity, another called second activity. What I'm doing now is I'm going to actually add a layout directory. So you can right click here and I'll just show that here um, and you'll do new. And then what you'll do is Android resource directory. And then down here, you can select layout. That will create a folder here. What you want to do in this place is actually create a, um, a basically a layout file. So the layout file you can think of is it's really the uh, if you're familiar to like web development, it's like the HTML of of like what a screen looks like in Java. So here you can see and under XML, we have a layout XML file. So we're going to go ahead and create that. Uh, we're going to set the root tag. It, it really doesn't matter, but we're going to use linear layout in this case. Um, and then I actually want to call this like main underscore activity. Ah, if I could spell. All right, so that'll be our main one. And then I'm going to go ahead and create another one real quick here before I start doing anything out there. So I can also, it looks like they've got a shortcut here. So I'm going to do that same thing here. But actually, I don't want to introduce uh, constraint layouts yet, so I'm just going to do it the other way. So we get that um, linear layout. And we're going to do this one second under activity. And I'm going to go ahead and hit finish here. So I've got my main activity. I've got my second activity. Now, in the main activity, let's go ahead and just drag a button um, into the screen here. So let's go ahead and grab this guy. And I'm going to just stick it there. Uh, we can call that button. That's totally fine. Uh, maybe actually what we'll do is we'll call it navigate. Uh, and, and honestly, uh, what I would really want to have happen is you guys spend a little bit more time like just playing around with the screen, but we'll get into a lot more on like all of this, but it constantly changes between versions. So it's just something to keep in mind here. Uh, so there we're gonna have this be navigate. And then, so if you look over here on the right, there's a bunch of things that you can actually play around with. So I'm gonna say, uh, go to view two, something like that. All right, so you can see this little warning here. Uh, because we don't have the weight de details out uh, set up correctly here. And basically, like, I can kind of, we can talk about that a little bit later, but what you'll sometimes end up with if you see things like this is you'll, and it's something about weights, is the sizing just won't match when you end up, like, running it on an actual application. Okay, so I've got this uh, go to view two, and we're going to go in, in here to the second activity real quick, and I'm going to load this guy up. And uh, let's see here. Oh shoot, I changed it on the wrong one. That's totally fine. So we're gonna we're gonna just add that button here real quick and drag it in there. We're, we'll keep this one as like go to view two. And um, I actually don't want that to be a name. So navigate underscore two. Refactor that. And then down here, when I click on the button. We're going to put this go to view two, and then we're going to grab the second activity now, and we're just going to make this go to view one, save that, and then let's just make sure I've got the name here is navigate, let's make this navigate one, just to not, not have this be confusing, and we're going to go here, and we're going to make this navigate two. So this will take us over to the one. Now, so we have our layouts here. You can do so much with this. There's a ton of th different things to actually do. Remember the location of this, all right? And then, 
here, what you can do is you can just create a new Java class. So that Java class uh, basically would look something like this. So notice the activity main that I have here. So I actually want this to be main activity. And I want this to be the name of that button that I just made. So remember, I named that one navigate one. So, all right. So it just took it a minute to actually pick that up. That was kind of annoying. Uh, so that was throwing me off. So I did actually have that name correctly. And I will go in second activity, and we're just going to do the same thing here. So this will be second activity. Um, notice these are just, this is boilerplate code. Um, a couple things to call out here. On creates called right when it's created. Uh, and then in this particular case, we're going to also do this. So once we launch this other activity, we're going to go ahead and just hit finish here. Now finish will actually close this activity. So I'll, I'll show you a couple things here real quick. So finish will basically launch into the other one and have this one closed. Now let's say that I just wanted to push it on the front. I can actually take this same code here and I'm going to stick it in this place here. But remember we got this name navigate to which again is going to take it a bit to find it. We found it right away. Uh, and then we're going to set this to second activity. So this is always the current location and then the main activity. And again, I can hit finish here as well. Now what this will do, and this is very important. Um, if I have finish on both of these, basically you can think about it like a stack. So an item goes on top, but if I call finish, the item is actually removed from the stack. So if I do this, for example, if I don't have finish here, this is going to push second activity on top of the stack here. And then if I don't call finish here, this is going to push main activity on top of the stack. So notice the problem there. We're going to end up with a giant stack of activities. So really what we want to do is only as we're navigating into the app and we have like a back button, the back button will allow us to hit finish to back out of there. Uh, so in this particular case, we could, instead of actually calling this intent here, literally just call finish. And then here, not call finish. So this would be like I'm navigating to a screen, and then I'm navigating, like navigating to that screen, and then I'm coming back to the first one. So let me go ahead and get this built here, and I will, uh, actually, let me touch on one other thing real quick. So let's make sure that you've got your Android manifest set up. So this is also very important to actually have in here. Uh, we need to have uh, two activities specified in this case. So Android manifest, one of them needs to be set as the main launcher. So notice this one actually has a warning on it. So it looks like there is a setting that needs to be true exported. That is actually true. So I'm just going to go ahead and add that. That puts this, uh, this variable in there. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get this running. Uh, and to do that, I will be right back. All right, now that I have this running, so the way that I ran this is I hit the play button that's here, and I picked this particular uh, emulator that I have. All right, so here, here's my application. Uh, go to view two is here. Now we're going to see if I have bugs. Things never work the first time, so I'm going to go ahead and hit it. That worked. And see here, now we're on the second application because, remember, the second activity has that go to view one. I hit this again. I'm back. And hopefully this makes sense. Like we're, we're pushing the second activity on, and then when we click that button again, we're just popping it off. So then the first activity is viewed again, uh, shown again. So this should get you a good start on being able to understand how to navigate, working with intent, and then even setting up the manual process for adding activities to your views. All right, let me know if you have any questions. I'm going to go ahead and get this up and out to everyone.